Hey everybody, uh, we're gonna do one of my thirsty butterflies today. Uh, I don't actually have one on a rock right now, so I'm just showing you pictures of what I uh, have done in the past. Uh, today we're going to do an orange and yellow uh, monarch type butterfly. I suggest using a lighter colored rock. Um, use a little bit of water and uh, dab it on your rock to see how dark it gets when it's wet because once you spray it, you don't want it to be black like this one. Uh, you're gonna need uh, white acrylic paint, as well as orange and yellow. Uh, I do like Deco Art uh, Crafters acrylic paint for the orange and yellow because I do find that it goes on a little better than the rest of the brands out there. You're gonna need black and gold as well. Some blending brushes, small ones and big ones, as well as dotting tools, and fine lining paint brushes, as well as a pencil. Now you can use that photo, you can pause it there to get your shape of the butterfly and use your pencil uh, to draw the shape of butterfly that you want on the rock. Like I said, you can pause it at the picture of my butterfly or you can use your own imagination with it. You can see that I did a couple of different changes with it. Um, we're not gonna see all that mess afterwards. So we're gonna take our black paint and we're gonna fill in the body of our butterfly. And then we're gonna outline um, our favorite line uh, of wing that we decided on out of all of the lines that we made there. I'm going to pick my favorite and I'm also going to outline three circles for water droplets. Now you're going to need white acrylic paint uh, to fill in the wings so that we can have a really bright uh, yellow and orange butterfly. Uh, so we're going to just put the white on there to make that color pop. Two coats and let it dry. Now we're gonna grab our yellow paint and we're gonna color those white wings all yellow. Now there's going to be a, a tutorial just for water droplets because I accidentally deleted that part um, most of it actually out of this so uh, there's going to be a separate tutorial just on water droplets to help you with these water droplets in the end okay now we have a beautiful bright yellow butterfly to start with we're going to grab our orange and our blending brushes now i'm going to dab on right close to the body i want that to be my darker part so I'm going to dab all my orange on there and I'm going to drag it out to almost the edge of the wing. But I still want to see some of that yellow. You can use whatever colors you want. Just use a lighter dark, a lighter color and a darker color again. And uh, you're going to need the white and the black and the gold. Now I'm blending it all together so that it's nice and smooth. It almost looks airbrushed. I like, I like my stuff to look airbrushed. I'm just gonna drag it down the one side, the inner, inner portion of the wing, and blend it out. Tired, you eh? never wanna have too much paint on your brush when you're blending. Ta-da! Now we're gonna take our black acrylic paint and our fine lining brush, and we're gonna like uh, open up his body there where he's a little claustrophobic. He needs to breathe a little better. So we're gonna give him back his body shape. Yeah. Let that dry. Now we're gonna put some lines on it. So we're going to start with one line on either wing. You can do whatever design you want here, um, or you can follow mine. Um, 
I do three lines off of this first line that we drew just to kind of make it even on either side. I do one wing and then I go over to the to the other side so that they're both done at the same time. Now I'm going to make a teardrop on either side of the body and then we're going to draw a line down the middle of the teardrop, down the side of the teardrop, and down the other side of the teardrop as well. Just so that you have some points to start at. So now we have three lines coming off the teardrop and I'm going to add a fourth one right at the top. So four lines coming down off the teardrop on either side. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to thicken all those lines. So it's kind of like a tree trunk. Each line, bring it down and thicken it at the bottom just like a tree trunk. And they're not all gonna be exactly the same and they're not all gonna be the same thickness. Um, but like I said, none of my rocks are perfect and yours don't have to be either. Um, they end up looking gorgeous in the end anyway, so. Now I also round out each, each portion uh, once so that I don't want any hard lines anywhere, so I just round it all out Now we're gonna go around to the other side And do our tree trunks again Always start with the tree trunks and then you can round them off after And you do not have to use my terminology either. I am a self-taught artist and I do not know any terminology whatsoever. It's starting to look like a cute butterfly though. Now we're gonna do the shading. So we're gonna take a little, um... oh actually first I'm gonna, expand the wings out just a little bit. I want to make them a little bit longer on the tops there and on the bottoms. Just want a little bit more black. Once again, this is a step that you don't have to take. Uh, you can have your wings shaped however you want. But I just wanted it to be a little more bold on the outer part of the wing. Now we're putting the shadow in. So with a small blending brush, you grab a little bit of black paint, not, not thick paint at all, and you just blend it in under the wing like this. Try to follow the pattern that I'm using where you pop it off the edge of the wing there. And we're just gonna make this butterfly look like it's floating on top of the rock. It takes a lot of practice to get that shading in the right spots. Um, like I said, practice, practice, practice. I'm a self-taught artist and I taught myself how to do this without any kind of tutorial. So um, if I can do it, so can you. And I'm here to help you with that. Um, it might not look perfect. Uh, in the end, it still looks like the butterfly is coming off the rock, I promise. So just put your shading underneath the bottom portion of the wings, not on the top. Now I'm making that wing also come off the rock a little bit. We're doing the same thing that we did with the lower ones there. Now take your fine lining brush and we're going to um, make smaller antenna to make it look like the shadow of your thicker antenna. So just put a, a thinner line than what you originally put for your antenna. We're going to be using our dotting tools and our white acrylic paint very soon. But first the gold. 
my gold is going to dance for you.